Research Methodologies Step-by-step -step Guide Research Methodologies Types of Research, Wallerman 2001 there are 10 types of research methodologies such as historical, comparative, descriptive, correlational, experimental, evaluation, action, ethnogenic, feminist or identity politics and cultural. The research methodologies such as historical, comparative, descriptive, evaluation and action are qualitative whereas correlation and experimental are quantitative. The last three research methodologies such as ethnogenic, feminist or identity politics and cultural are various but not quantitative. Broadly interpretivist methodologies which include postmodernism, poststructuralism, critical theory discourse analysis, critical linguistics, semiotics. In historical research methodology, the systematic and objective location evaluation and synthesis of evidence in order to establish facts and draw conclusions about past events, involves where the events take place, which people are involves, when the events occurred, what kind of human activity was involved. In comparative research methodology, often used together with historical research to compare people's experience of different societies, either between times in the past or in parallel situations in the present. Conducted at a macro level revolutions or at a micro level, individual experiences. Experimental research where the researcher controls causal factors is not really possible in social research, but history and comparisons can supply researchers with a natural experiment in which non-essential characteristics of a phenomena can be eliminated by looking at multiple instances of it. In descriptive research methodology, instead of examining records or artifacts, descriptive research relies on observation as a means of collecting data attempts to examine situations in order to establish what is the normal what can be predicted to happen again under the same circumstances. Observations are written down or recorded in some way in order to be subsequently analysed. Depends on human observations and responses distortions in data can occur in biased questions in interviews, questionnaires, selective observation of events. In correlation research methodology, analytical survey, all correlation research is quantitative correlation is a word which describes the statistical measure of association or the relationships between two phenomena two types of studies. Relational studies, an exploratory form of study which investigates the possible relationships between phenomena to establish if a correlation exists and if so to what extent prediction studies carried out in research areas where correlations are already known attempts to predict possible behavior or events. In experimental research methodology, researchers try to isolate and control every relevant condition which determines the events investigated, so as to observe the effects when the conditions are manipulated different types of experimental design. Pre-experimental Unreliable assumptions are made despite the lack of control over variables. True experimental. Rigorous check of the identical nature of groups before testing the influence of a variable on a sample of them under controlled circumstances. Quasi-experimental. Not all conditions of true experimental design can be fulfilled but the shortcomings are identified. Correlation and ex post facto. Correlation looks for cause and effect relationships between two sets of data. Ex post facto reverse experimentation interprets the cause of phenomenon by observing its effects. In evaluation research methodology, descriptive type of research designed to deal with complex social issues. The latest so called fourth generation evaluation research has the following properties. Outcomes do not represent how things are or how they work. 
rather they represent meaningful constructions which groups create to make sense of situations they find themselves in. It is recognized that these constructions are shaped by the values of the constructors. Inextricably linked to particular physical, psychological, social and cultural contexts within which they are formed and in which they are used. Evaluation of these constructions is highly dependent on the involvement and viewpoint of the evaluators. Evaluation should be action-oriented. Define a course which can be practically followed usually requires negotiation. Participants are equal partners in every aspect of the design, implementation, interpretation and resulting action. One type of evaluation research is, would you believe, systems analysis. Holistic type of research which reverses the three-stage order of thinking which is typical of scientific inquiry, that is, breaking the problem into researchable parts, then separately evaluating the parts and then aggregating the evaluations into an explanation of the whole. In contrast, systems analysis is involved with identifying the encompassing whole, the system, of which the phenomenon or problem is a part evaluating the behavior or properties of the encompassing whole explaining the behavior or properties of the phenomena or problem in terms of its roles or functions within the encompassing whole. Another kind of evaluation research is called responsive evaluation in which a series of investigative steps is undertaken in order to evaluate how responsive a program is, an advertising campaign, new degree course etc. To all those taking part in it, data collection, identifying issues from the people directly involved in the program, identifying further issues from the program documents, observing how the program is actually working evaluation, the design of an evaluation based on the data collected and reporting findings suggested changes, informing the participants of the findings in ways specifically designed for each type of audience. In action research methodology, similar to experimental research although carried out in the real world rather than in the context of a closed experimental system. It involves small-scale interventions in the functioning of the real world and a close examination of the effects of such an intervention. Essentially an on-the-spot procedure designed to deal with a specific problem evident in a particular situation where no attempt is made to separate a particular feature of the problem from its context in order to study it in isolation constant monitoring and evaluation are carried out and conclusions from the findings are applied immediately and further monitored as a practical form of research aimed at a specific problem and situation and with little or no control over independent variables it cannot fulfill the scientific requirement for generalizability therefore despite its exploratory nature and therefore relatable to experimental research it is actually the antithesis experimental research. In ethnogenic research methodology, researchers are interested in how subjects of the research theorize about their own behavior rather than imposing a theory from outside aims a to represent a view of the world as it is structured by the participants under observation by eliciting phenomenological data, that is it concentrates on the detailed description of conscious experience, the science of phenomena as opposed to the science of being it takes place in undisturbed natural settings of the subjects it attempts to represent the totality of the social, cultural and economic situation regarding the context to be equally important as the action difficult form of research culture is often hidden and rarely explicit, need to consider the language and behavior of subjects and surrounding conditions in which they work risks, cultural background of the research can affect the outcome. Naturalistic settings mean that it is impossible to repeat the situation to verify the research. In feminist or identity politics research methodology, 
no single sets of methodologies rather a related set of practices which start from a position on research which says that gender and issues of identity politics must be considered as an enormously influential category in social theory that those researchers who ignore its influence have invalid knowledge as non-feminist paradigms usually ignore the partiality of the researchers' ideas about the social world undertaken with a political commitment to the identity and transformation of gender relations and identity very important form of research because while this form of research is not uniquely political it exposes the fact that all methods of social research are political to the extent that they are gendered and rely on specific kinds of representation of identity. In cultural research methodology, many of the prevailing theoretical debates Examples include postmodernism, poststructuralism, are concerned with language and cultural interpretation. These issues are central to sociological studies. Cultural texts expanded to include many manifestations of cultural exchange opera, TV, cocktail parties, fashion. The main criteria for cultural texts is that one should be able to read some meanings into the phenomena. Need has therefore arisen for methodologies that allow analysis of cultural texts to be compared, replicated, disproved and generalized. Structural Properties of Language Chomsky Sachs Shelgoff Language is action in its contextual environment Wittgenstein Austin and Searle Sociolinguistics and the Ethnography of Speaking Himes, Bernstein, Lebov etc. Semiotic Theories of Language, Halliday, Yelmslev. Three approaches to the consistent interpretation of cultural texts are content analysis, rather positivistic attempt to identify subjective meaning in the cultural domain. Example is counting the number of times a particular word occurs in a text as an indication of its importance. Semiotics takes an opposite approach by attempting to gain a deep understanding of meanings by the interpretation of single elements of texts and tracing the meanings of things back through the systems and codes through which they have meaning and make meaning. Slater 1995, page 240. Discourse analysis. Studies the ways that people communicate with each other through language within a social setting several schools. Research methodologies. Some very sensible questions. How do I know which research methodology to choose? Ask your supervisors or others who have worked directly in the application domain that you are interested in studying, and or look at significant papers in your field and attempt to determine what methodology they are using. Can I mix research methodologies? In principle you should not need to. Within each methodology there are many schools it is more likely that you may only need to get more familiar with the range of methods, techniques and concepts within your existing methodology. There are considerable risks. Recall the theoretical pluralism section. However, having said that if you can demonstrate that you need to do multi-methodology research and establish the condition for doing it then that will likely form a substantial part of the originality for your dissertation i did this in my own phd how do i know whether my question is worth researching you won't necessarily but others are likely to be aware that your problem will change and evolve in my opinion let it the problem will change, get more complex as your reading and research increases. Early on if it doesn't get more complex then it may be that the problem is not really appropriate. If your problem appear to be getting more complex then that's often a good sign your work is substantial. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.